Hey, True Believers England team here. Uh, decided what the heck, Sunday, uh, let's do a tier list. We did Justice League, the women of the Justice League last time. I figure, what the heck, let's go with the women of the X-Men. Think it'd be kind of fun to do. Uh, hello to Rhaegar, hello to Jay. Thank you for being, as of now, the only two people in the comments section. <laughs> so I think the, the uh, women who, who are later in the list are going to actually... Uh, benefit from the fact that hey people are going to be there probably i hope fingers crossed yeah that being said uh we already had a discussion that i'm going to clear up right now i picked what i thought were 20 prominent women from the x-men only 20 that's it because otherwise these things can go on forever and um in all honesty i miss somebody there's going to be somebody who you didn't, uh, oh, wait, but I would have liked to. Sorry, I picked them. That's yeah. it. This is the list we've got. Okay, Alrighty. well, if if Nature Girl and Escapade aren't on here, we riot. Well, Nature Girl is, in fact, the greatest character ever created. So she deserves her own tier list. It would, it? Be, it would be ranked Nature Girl and would only have one number, 10. Where's that Nega Sonic girl from Deadpool? Exactly. I don't want to hear that throughout the entire <laughs> evening, so we're done with it. Yeah. That's well, basically what I'm saying right well, now. And I'm we're trying to remember, uh, what was the name of the uh, drag X-Men? Don't even, little, don't even care a little bit. I am absolutely 100% done with the it The sad already. thing is that you'd be in an announcement, which you don't want to hear, but people tuning in didn't hear that. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, people, yeah. It, it's going to be one of those, like, later, hey, where's, I don't care. This is what I came up with. 20, you should put it as uh, a banner on our team. Can we start? <laughs> no. yeah. Well, okay. let me just answer Rhaegar's question. No, Nature Girl is not related to Ric Flair. If you did see it, it's a it's a girl that has deer uh, antlers sticking out of her head, and she's got she got experience or pow power of nature. And oh yeah, she killed an innocent person because uh, some animal choked to death on a um, on a plastic. Uh, six pack um thing well, i forget what you call yeah, it yeah real quickly Rhaegar, yeah. if you bought a book based on my recommendation you can't blame me because you're the one All that right. bought it okay kids <laughs> uh we're here to do an x-men the women of the x-men tier list i do appreciate though the uh stall time uh trying to get waiting for uh more people to come in but uh let's see what are what are we at right now we're at six that's that's not good. I gotta make these Here normal. We, can uh, we so. get to seven, folks? Come can, on, can we tell, get to twenty or so? Friends. That's that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, please by all means share this out, and uh, I'll uh, take my own advice and do the same. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you, know, you, know, you know, baby steps. You know, first right now we're at six. Then we'll get to seven. You know, then nice. maybe we'll get to ten. You know, then you know maybe next week you know we can get to fifteen and you know build from there. So, oh yeah, why don't you guys do me a favor? Share it on Twitter. Tag that we're being sexist, so we get a lot of people coming in. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, you you won't believe the misogyny going on. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Yes, yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I you know I I would say let Heidi McDonald know, but we actually want to get an audience. So. <laughs> Just uh, tag uh, women in fridges as your tag. I think that's a great idea, though. Tag it uh, misogyny. Can you believe that this white straight male is? Oh, cis male. Sorry. Uh, in, yeah. In, yeah. Yep. Ta tag Gail Simone. Hashtag X women in fr and fr uh, freezers, and you know we'll have a thousand screaming harpies here in a minute. Yeah, that would, I mean, maybe, maybe it's uh, time to get that audience. It's time to court the Screaming Harpy audience. I've never actually aimed for the blue hairs before, you know, without ammo. And uh, I think it'd be about, it's about time. No one aims for the blue hairs or the or the Inquisition. <laughs> Get a show up unannounced. <laughs> no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Okay, and it was oh, just hashtag take a misogyny. Now, how, how it's it's m i m y s o. The title of this channel or the show or the, for this show should be. I don't think I spelled it right. Misogyny. How do you spell misogyny? 
They have someone uh, that are better should, off. Not shouldn't it be? Shouldn't you have a spell check there in the you know in there somewhere? Just about everything's got. Not this time. Well, I have a hashtag by it. Maybe that's what's yeah. going on. I mean, oh, there's that title. The women of X. The women of the X Men who aren't fat. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put women empowerment. Maybe that'll get people there. All right, there we go. Oh, and uh, share it out. Okay, well, let's fudge. see. Uh, you know, for future misogyny, M I S O G Y N Y. Yeah, I totally, I totally uh, flubbed it. I thought it was a my. You have Google at your fingertips. Ah, I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so uh, here we go, guys. Let's get this thing going. Uh, let's have a little fun with the uh, with the women of the X Men hashtag misogyny. Trans the Avengers, um, women X Men. That, that's yeah. a, that's, a, that's a pretty good one, Rhaegar. Fans Day of Vengeance, hottest X Men ranked. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Too. <laughs> let's let's uh, let me share it out as that. I think that would be kind of fun too. Okay. Um, put put in the link. All right, trans. Is that a hashtag? Trans Day of Vengeance. It is you know, uh, probably. I have no idea. Okay, Probably it's a is. trending trans day of vengeance. How many R's are in vengeance? Uh, right. <laughs> you're kidding, right? Yes. Okay. Just checking because you never be too sure. A wellness check. Okay. Um, should should I do it as a hashtag or just as the uh, the, the trending hashtag? Hashtag it? Okay. Yeah, hashtag that shit. Gosh. Gee, why does your channel get flagged, England team? <laughs> <laughs> um, Steven Crowder's a pussy. Okay, uh, here we go. All right. There we are. Hashtag yeah. trans day of vengeance, hottest. Yeah. Well, we're sorry you weren't able to, to be there, Ron. You know, hopefully, hopefully your event went well and uh, you can always watch it. Um, I believe it's still up. Hey, what's All right, up? What, John, what are we, what are we not watching? Uh, Jeopardy from last night. Oh yeah, it was fun. If you want to play, just say the word. I'll, I'm I'm making up boards for whenever we're doing this, and uh, uh, boom, there we go. All right. As, yeah, as far as I know, we haven't done lifeguard at all yet. What what guard? Lifeguard wasn't part of the tiras. Lifeguard. She was a uh, 2000s X Men character. Oh pff, no, that's not gonna make it. Come on, uh, I I only have I only have 20. So there you go. Otherwise, if I did every woman who was ever an X Men, this show would be a gajillion minutes long. Husk was the other one. Yeah. She could change her skin, different things. Yeah, I remember Husk. She was yeah. in the Gen X once yeah. again. I don't have every woman that was in the X Men on here because I only picked 20. Okay, and let's start off with the first of them that I picked. Blink. Uh, once again, guys, just rating them on coolness. It's one to ten. Uh, this will be scored out for uh, for a later video that I promise at some point I'm going to make. I actually was about to make the Justice League. Playing the ranks as far as ten is ten being the worst. Okay, ten is the best. One is the worst. Okay, and I remember to put one on the bottom for you for you guys because I messed that up uh, last time. So there we go. Okay. All righty. Um, so uh, let, let's start off with you, um, guy I can't remember the name of, even though we talk all the time, LK. Yes. No, oh, well, yeah. I wasn't sure which one, we, which one of us you were actually going to refer to. I know, because our names are right <laughs> on, the, on the page. I know, well, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the board here. Okay, so what do, what do you think? Blink. Oh, Blink. Huh. Uh, honestly, I haven't read her in a while. I, I did read uh, Exiles back in the day, um, and she was a good character. Uh, you know, start out, I'll put her as a solid five. Okay. How about you, Vink? I'll throw her as an eight because she's one of the, the like on the Expo is, a, is a early 2000s. And she was very heavily popular. It featured in the Infinity Games. In the, yeah, that's right. Yeah, she was yeah. in the uh, second X-Men Legends game. Yep. And then yeah. she was pretty much everywhere. She was basically like the new uh, Nightcrawler. <laughs> okay. Uh, and yeah. look, she was also a... Um, 
in the beginning of the uh, the Days of Future Past movie. Yeah, also threw her in Gifted. Show. So she, she, um, yeah, okay. So it's one through ten. Just to get this again, Rhaegar, and this is the last time, I'm gonna. Uh, it's one through ten. Everybody knows the ranking. One bad, ten good. There you go. Based on how cool do you think that character is? All right. So um, I agree with you though. Uh, even though she's been in all of this stuff, I don't see her as a major breakout. Like she's a no. name, but she's not exactly a major breakout. But she's above average. So we've got, uh, we have, uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes. And we have two yeah. for the five. We have one for the eight. And let's see how the others are doing. Uh, Ronald Rugg says, Blink gets a six. And Jay's giving her a seven. All right. <laughs> seven for hotness. I don't know what she Seven is. for hotness. Hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, as um, Rhaegar said, she's pink. That goes. Uh, eight from uh, Rhaegar. All right. Uh, definitely hotness on the gifted show. Hey, Jim, what's up? Jim says Blink gets a seven. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any more votes on that? I'll, I'll give it a couple of seconds here. Uh, when she uses her powers offensively, it's cool, says Ronald Rugg. I liked how she did in the uh, in the movie with the having the Sentinel uh, punch another Sentinel. Uh, yeah. Ooh, man, it threw me off because you have S A B D C in the thumbnail. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's just uh, I, I just picked out a random board. Oh. Oh my and gosh. put it up there so I could put uh, pictures up against you it. Imagine so if you said the numbers, you get hot, hottest. Hot okay, earth. Donnie, that <laughs> is a seven. All right. He ranked them by, oh. yeah, yeah, hot, yeah, hottest yeah, Don, yeah. Whole, num whole numbers only, folks. Whole, whole numbers whole. only. All right, but there you go. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, and uh, hold on, we got uh, two fives, one six, three sevens, two eights. I'm thinking we stick it at seven. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Blink uh, Blink gets a seven from the group here. All righty, come on. There you go. And we move on to Dazzler. Had her own series, a mini series, a graphic novel. I got to tell you, she's she was in the X-Men in the 90s, in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. But I don't ever want to see her get out of the disco era. I just think she's really cool right there. I think she's probably one of the coolest superheroines that nobody's really read her series on. What do you think, LK? Oh, I mean, you know, set, setting aside my my love for her, uh, you know, just going through a uh, great power set, you know, yeah. she was a one-time uh, Herald of Galactus. I know, was, right? Cosmic, cosmic power. Let me uh, put the name Dazzler into the post there. All right, keep going. Um, you know, she's had relevant runs. She has continued to be, you know, in the for the, the forefront or certainly, you know, not forgotten as we've gone through the decades. Yeah. She, people for, you know, might, Do you have a number in mind? Of this, of this age, people, <laughs> people might forget, but she was one of the characters in the best X-Men video game of all time. Okay. Uh, the X-Men arcade game. So well, I she, still got to go legends, but all right. What, what number would she, you get? She is an eight. She is an eight. I disagree with you on that. I'm actually going to bump her up one more. Really? Put her as a nine. Cause I really like her character. I love her series in the eighties, but RDV, what do you think? I got to go with eight too, because she said okay. she it was popular at a time. She's still, I'd say she's still popular about the Uber nerds, but most normies probably wouldn't know who she is. Okay. That's why I say so she's kind of like at an eight. Okay. Well, uh, Jay is saying that Dazzler is also an eight. He's agreeing with you guys. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And once again, this is solely Jay, based Jay on how taste. cool do you think the character is? So if you think it's a 10, make it a 10. If you think it's a one, make it a one. It's up to you. Um, let's see. She's a five based on powers, but you have to give her an eight because of those outfits. She is a better Charlie's Angels. Uh, I'll never forget the first time I saw her in a comic. Gorgeous, says Ronald Rugg. I disagree with you on the power, but hey, once again, yeah, it's your choice. would have been a great dazzler. Yeah, um, you're, you're, I, wrong, you're wrong on powers, but you know you did. There's the there's a before. scene in the uh, in her graphic novel where she comes out as a mutant and she's in an airport and they're uh, 
they run some jet engines and she silences them out and everybody gets scared because uh, she made an entire airport quiet. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Jim is saying Dazzler was a great partner to Longshot. I still have no idea why they never teamed her up with Siren. Oh. Mm, well, that I, would yeah, uh, totally, uh, totally wipe out Siren as a powerhouse, but it would yeah. be kind of a good uh, fastball special kind of deal. Yeah, but, um, Jim, do you have a number four? Ronald Rugg says eight for Dazzler. Yeah, the way I'm ranking it too, because I know who's coming up next, and I'm like, and I, there's no way I don't feel Dazzler, Jim Cobbler is the other okay. Ones. That makes sense. That makes sense. Jim says Dazzler, Dazzler is an eight as well. I, I, I don't um, know. Rhaegar says six. I don't okay. go out the pop. You change uh, it to a six. Uh, let's see. I would vote, but I will end up giving each one a sixty-nine. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you feel free to vote regular, but there you go. All righty, so here's what we got. We got uh, two, seven, eight. Uh, uh, we got eight votes, same as uh, same as Blink, and we have two fives, but we have five eights and a nine. So does that stay at eight? I was if you have a nine and you have five eights. Yeah. Who 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 else who else gave her a five? Um. I didn't see any fives there. Did I yeah. put him in five instead of six? Is that what Rogar said? Oh, yeah, you're right. It's supposed to be a six. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I think that probably okay. everything adding up, she should be an eight. She'd be an eight. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Why are you not going to where you are supposed to go? Here? Uh, there we go. Okay. Hey, Frank, uh, great to see you, but we're not on those characters yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. Uh, but feel free to rank the character we are on and the ones that we uh, we have already passed, which is Blink and Dazzler. So if you want to rank those based on how cool you think they are. Yep. So, um, yeah, Frank, we're going in kind of alphabetical order and ranking them, uh, just giving them a number, and then we'll have the, the final listing at the end of the show. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Domino. She was in uh, in the Deadpool movie. She was a a half villain kind of in X Force. Luck powers. What do you think, Vink? I'm saying uh, she's ten. You think Domino is a Domino 10? is one of those interesting characters. She just had the luck powers, but and I'm always I love the fact she's all she's uh, fishing with firearms. Mm -hmm. uh now i, I think I, I think she should be able to be able to expand more in other books other than just uh, deadpool she was a main character in the deadpool series obviously uh with the x-force but I, I said i'd like to see her in some more stuff um yeah okay how about you there lk I will have to dis disagree on this one. She's pretty much a one-trick pony. Her solo series was, we'll generously say, mediocre at best. I'll be polite and give her a six. Okay. I I love the power set. Black Cat had it for a while. I don't know if she still does. I like the idea of luck being a superpower. Um, the guns, she was created in the 90s. It was a thing. It makes sense as a uh, an actual offensive weapon, uh, but I have to agree. She's never really broken out to me. I think I'm going to go five. So we have a five, and we have a six, and we have a ten coming from the panel. And uh, Jay is saying Domino's an eight, and Jim is saying a five. He's agreeing with me, and we've got an eight from Jim. I mean, uh, from Jay, excuse me. And yeah. uh, Domino 7, only because she is kind of boring. Yeah. Uh, and that is from uh, Ron Rugg. Yeah, and Rhaegar put in a 10 before you put the, the header okay. in. So I just want to make sure you missed that. Although he's wrong, but, you know. Hey, we got, hey man, it's gotta, his, uh, gotta, it's everybody, you, you got your yeah. opinions, right? We, we got to give him, give him his opinion. Yep, yeah, yeah, that he's his correct opinion. Evans. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it, it, and it goes to what I said. You know, it, there's no real bad characters. There's just bad writing. If know? I'm going to have a bad writing, man, there's a lot of these women on here that I'd find boring for going off of writing. Hey, uh, Ronald, <laughs> let your daughter vote. Let, let your daughter have a voice as well. Uh, you're you're uh, describing the characters. If she says, oh, well, that sounds like a yada yada, by all means. We don't hold those character his daughter is. Yeah. <laughs> She's getting really young. <laughs> oh, no, uh, uh, oh, Domino, it's all right. Roll over me, Romeo. There you go. Lord have mercy. I said, oh, the one that I get is uh, when I hear Domino is the kiss song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's she is that young. Okay, no, I've been there. I've been there. I, I read my kids the Impact comics when they were that kind of boring. Is why you got the girls and Marvels you got now. <laughs> <laughs> Dominique's kind of, but there you go. All righty, let's see two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Somebody didn't vote, but it doesn't matter. We've got two tens, one eight, one seven, one six, and two fives. Wow. So. Uh, Two tens, two fives, and yeah. one each in well, the middle. I'd say I'd say just add it, Eight? add it, add it, add it up, and divide by the the number of votes. Uh, let's see. That's uh, ten. Uh, oh, that's what I'm going to do later. Okay, so it's uh, 10, 16, 23, 31, 51, 7. So there you go. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. It's an eight. All right, kids. This is a character. Anytime somebody brings up Muslim, she her name got brought up, and her name's been getting brought up a lot recently. So I included her just based on that, and it's Dust. Yeah. yeah. From oh, hey, we got a we got new. a late vote. So in a disguise, is that seven for Domino? Okay. Well, she's that. I think uh, that'll should, keep her. That but by knock, the way, knock her down to a seven. That does not. The, the rankings we have here doesn't exactly um, say where they're going to score in the final top 10. I'm doing the uh, Justice League after uh, I'm doing the top t uh, 20 list after we're done here for the Justice League to put put up uh, as a video. And I got to tell you, the scores are, are different than the rankings here. So it makes it very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, let me put the name Dust in here and then uh, in. I'll take any votes after that, but RDV, what do you think of Dust? Uh, is there a zero? Uh, well, like, zero? Well, well, you have one to ten. Yeah, I'll, one go, to I'll 10. go one then. I'll be nice. Okay, why? Uh, she seems like a boring character. All righty. Okay, and how about you, LK? Yeah. Well, first off, you're starting to make the list sound like the New York Times bestseller list with uh, the way you're talking about. All the way the ranking doesn't the really. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Well, score uh, is different than ranking. That's all. <laughs> uh, Ronald Reagan says Ronald Reagan. Ronald <laughs> says, "Oh shit, I'm going home." All righty. Uh, Ronald Rugg says three. How about how about you? Uh, well, well, does he? Oh, Ron, are you are you saying three or minus three? <laughs> oh, minus three. Okay, I thought it was dash. Okay, obviously I, I don't he know. was one I should have left. Hey, off, hey Jim, guess. welcome. Um, you know, I, I'm going to be nice and just give her a solid five. I mean, I'm not going to hate on her. I mean, the fact is that she's been criminally underused. She's been ignored as the, you know, diversity clan has swept through the X offices uh, when she could have been a really intriguing character, you know, and I'm, and I'm blanking on which X-Men story that I first read her but again like back in the day it was you know just you know natural um you know introduction to the character and she was you know kind of quiet and reserved and you know wasn't you know so mm -hmm. there was just no chance i think to you know build her up so i think dust was defeated by iron man and in, in 2008 um uh, after the Avengers, after the Avengers kicked off and the movies became like, oh, we're going to be doing all these. Everybody wanted to create their own. So this character who may have been interesting and I like I like her power set is kind of buried because, oh, we're going to have a Muslim. Well, we're going to create Kamala Khan instead of promote dust. Why the f would you promote a character by that hateful bigot over at Comics Gate uh, as um as uh, Cumberbatch was po uh, pointing out, you know, and you know that's the way they think. She was also wow. a force. Yeah, I agree with Ronald. She was also a force character as far as uh, when they introduced her. She was a virtue signal. 
Oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe. See, I, I disagree with that. I mean, first off, again, it, it, we play into this game where, you know, when people say stereotype automatically bad. Stereotypes aren't necessarily good or bad. They're stereotypes because it's an easy way to classify something that's complicated. Okay. Um, well, uh, hey, Cumberbatch, do you have a number? Where would you rank her? As well as, uh, hey, Smokey, what's up? Yeah, uh, give a, it's a ranking one through 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best, and it's based on how cool do you think this character is? We only have, uh, right now we only have four. The other characters were getting uh, at least 10. So uh, yeah, I know some people haven't uh, voted. So if you haven't voted, give us a number. Where would you put her? Would you uh, vote? Oh my God, Shane more? McMahon is back. All righty. Uh, money, not... money, money. Sorry. Um, uh, squirrel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, <laughs> I mean, what everyone thinks is a Muslim. I mean, in this case, I mean, she wore the hij uh, you know, hijab. You know, she, you know, was written to be a proper, you know, Muslim woman, you know, following the traditions of which we can call it a stereotype, but there are hundreds of millions of, you know, women in Muslim countries that do the exact same thing. Um, you know, so that's where, again, I'll, I'll say you know, it's not necessarily a negative stereotype, but, you know, okay. well, it's what we, it is. we don't have a lot of votes. We have two fives, a one and a two and a three and 16 um, people watching. Holy crap. So let us put her at, I believe it would be a three. Okay, so far the lowest ranked of the X ladies, and I think it's based on what what you and I were talking about. They just don't respect her enough. There's no story to her anymore. Hey, I'm proud of her. <laughs> she doesn't want to be ranked there. Yeah, I know she does. Like, no, I'm better than this. I'm better than this. All right, uh, let's uh, let's start this one up, uh, Venkman. I'll let you go first if you want. But this uh, is Miss Emma Frost. Emma Frost. Wow. You could, to say that she's not a popular character uh, would be an uh, asinine. <laughs> uh, she's at, is at ten level. Okay, she's you're still, gonna. She's still I mean, now. You can you argue that she's being overused lately in the in the current books, but. Even before then, she was pretty much uh, started off as a villain, worked her way into becoming a, a hero in the same sorts, you know, with the X Men. And by God, she is like the most cosplayed, probably <laughs> one of. Yeah, one of. Yeah, really, at least uh, they have not. Yeah. How about you, LK? Oh, I, I mean, I've got to agree, man. If we're talking coolness factor. I mean, especially when she takes her diamond form, she's as cool as ice. She's a 10. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yes, she is a proper. Oh, okay. That's still going on with dust. Uh, Smoke, uh, Smokey's talking about dust still. Uh, we're on to Emma Frost. What do you guys think? One is the worst. 10 is the best. Please vote. I, I, I am scoring these up for a video, uh, and I will make a top 20 women of the X-Men video out of it. Um. We have a six from Jim Sorensen. I would love to know why you put her as low as a six. Um, however, Jay agrees with Venkman and LK that she is a 10. Um, and Rhaegar agrees that she is a 10. Okay. And then we have Emma Frost as an eight from One Slick Dude. How you doing, One Slick? What's up? And Cumberbatch says Emma Frost is a nine. Um, let's see. We have Foxy, hot, classy, blonde lady with mental powers per of a secret uh, person of secret society. Uh, Trusty says 10. She made me vote that. <laughs> okay. And then we have um, Topher. What's up? How you doing? Saying 10. And hey. Ronald Rugg says uh, nine. Okay, and I haven't put my vote in because I'm I'm wondering. She's got some of the best stories, one of the best pages of comics I've always loved, and I used it when I was arguing this whole uh, bullcrap male uh, gaze thing where she's talking to a, a waitress at the Hellfire Club who feels embarrassed the way she's got to dress, and she talks about how um, your mind 
your intelligence is one part of your strength and the other is your body because you make men weak. You make men swoon. So you should uh, own your own sexuality and so forth. So it's one of my favorite uh, things. I like a lot of her stories. I'm sorry. I'm talking myself into agreeing with you. And, she, uh, like I said, she's, she's yeah, a 10. Yeah. She's yeah. a 10. Yeah. She's she, one she, of the she, best she, villains there is around here. I though. prefer as a villain than I do a hero. And I don't like the diamond form. But that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she she's become kind of like that reluctant hero. You know, so she's, you know. Okay, uh, we got 11 votes off of her, and uh, seven of them are tens, two are nines, and uh, one is eight, one is, I think that with seven, uh, she deserves to go on the top tier. There we go. Yep. All righty. Okay, let's get this one out of the way here. And we've got Miss Jean Gray. All righty, Bankman, you want to start this one? Or is it LK's turn to start? Whoever wants to start. Either or, doesn't matter. All righty, uh, I'll start then. And uh, goodness gracious, I wish he had more stories. I really do. Um, beyond the sexual uh, noises every time she's knocked out uh, in the cartoons. Like she's. I liked her as Marvel Girl. I liked her as Phoenix in the uh, Claremont issues since she's come back. I don't know. She's okay in some issues. I I got to go a seven, maybe an eight on Jean Grey. She just, she's got the one story. And I know, yes, Phoenixes die and they come back. But over and over and over again, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I know I, I, I'm putting her in, I'm putting her at an eight. An eight. At least she had deserved. she was one of the original X Men, and she does have some good stories. And she's got one of the greatest X Men stories, and I think she deserves at least an eight for that. All righty, how about you, LK? Yeah. Well, I think I would have probably put her as a nine because I mean, yeah, she did start out kind of you know plain, but then they actually did a great job of building her back up in the, you know, the early nineties, people forget, you know, that she kind of assumed a, a leadership role and, you know, that's where she got the, you know, great uh, costume upgrade that we see in the picture here, but yeah. I'm knocking her down to an eight because she made Bobby gay. <laughs> okay. How about you, Vank? I'm going for a 10 because not she's loved or she's extremely hated. She is, she is, that's how infamous she's been with this. You know, people just, she's one of the characters that's always brought up. Whether you hate her or love her, she's always, on, she's, oh, people are always talking about her. Uh, and he froze. <laughs> uh, you can still hear us, though. Uh, somebody screen grab that. Uh, uh, no, like I said, like, Jean Grey is one, one of those characters, like, yes, yeah, she's, so, she's like Deadpool in a sense. But I think, actually, she's well, let's get back. She's better than Deadpool. People are like, are either sick of her or they love her. Either way, she's still popular. So I said, um, you could say, yeah, she was she was boring. She had that one story. She made Bobby gay, but she's still a Noel known character. Okay, that's why she's a ten for me, and she's a ten for you. All righty. Well, Jay is saying, Jean Grey, sorry not sorry, always found her boring. Uh, then uh, Cumberbatch is saying uh, 10. Okay, so we got a 10 and we got a 6. Everyone's a 10 in my book. And then we've got, uh, let's see, Jay, how could you? Gene's an 8 for me, says Jim. All righty. And we have uh, Gene gets a 9 from Trusty Sidekick. That would be Cabies. And uh, wait, are they separate characters? I, Gene Gray. Counter is Phoenix, counter is whatever, just Jean Grey overall. Um, and then we've got uh, It's a Good Story, though. Uh, Topher says nine. All righty. Yeah, and we've guys. got Jean Grey is uh, seven, Phoenix is a nine. I'll give her an eight for you. All righty. And then uh, let's see, I say Jean Grey is an eight. I like her as much as Emma, but they need to be able to do more with her. Her, yes. So Cumberbatch is going to choose overall character. All yeah. Character. So, okay, so you have 10, 10, um, 9. We'll go with 10 then since you're saying 10 for every, I guess. Unless you 
change. I'm good with that. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Jean Grey is Marvel. Okay. Um, seven and uh, he says okay. Jean Grey deserves our respect. I'll go with an eight. Okay. I love Jean, but partly because I like Scott a lot. That's why I gave her an eight. I agree. Uh, look, like I said, she does have a couple of great stories, in, uh, but overall, eh. Phoenix was every bit as good as Thanos, and if they had done it correctly in the movies, she would have been just as big. Unfortunately, that is a story they fucked up every time they had it. Okay, so what we've got is three tens. We've got three nines. We've got five eights. And uh, we've got one six. I got to say, if we're averaging it, eight or nine. What do you guys think? I'll, I'll say nine. Nine? To appease the gods. To appease mm -hmm. nine to appease the gods. All righty. That. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll go I'll go with nine. All righty. Okay, she was found in a mall, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, everybody who ever went to Pizza Hut in the nineteen nineties. Got a video with her in it. It is Miss Jubilee or Ju Jubilee or Jubilee? Jubilee. Jubilee. I'm going Jubilee to show Lee. off my misspellings here. There you go. Okay. Jubilee. All righty. <gasps> it's the M Squad. Oh. The M Squad? What? Well, the her her first appearance in the comic book. Yeah, oh, Ghostbusters when the, the ex ladies are going to going to the mall. Ladies night. Um, she ended up being coming Robin, and that's the way she dresses to uh to Wolverine. She was okay. I enjoyed her in the comics. I didn't think she was any great shakes or anything like that. Uh her power set, I always kind of thought it should be one of the weaker power sets because it's fireworks, not like fire bombs. And I kind of enjoyed that. Like she's her power set should have been used as a distraction, but of course, then they her up. They make her a single mom vampire. Um, I'm gonna say a six. How about you? Okay. Yeah, I'm right there. I'm actually torn between a, a five and a six. Um, All right. But I'll, I'll be generous and, and go go six. I mean, you know, and I'm sorry, but you know, base career power set was a discount dazzler um power set and you know plus i'm Perfect. still plus i'm still a little salty that uh they you know put her in the cartoon instead of uh one of the, the characters coming up here in a little bit all righty how about you vink i'm going with a seven because she was in the cartoon that's why i found out about her okay. uh she was yeah like going back and reading about her uh just how she was uh introduced yeah she's no katie pride that's why she's at a seven Kitty Pride is hired. My book. Okay. Okay. And uh, so we got a seven from you, two six from us. Jubilee is a nine, says Ronald Rugg. And then we have uh, I Am Biased. This was my childhood. Yeah. Uh, Jay is saying, I'm not retyping that. Wait, what? Yeah. When you first type Jubilee, there's two votes up there. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I've got Jay saying nine for Jubilee and her famous Tude. What can I say? I'm a fan of the 90s X Men. All righty. No worries, man. All, Once all, again, you, all you young whippersnappers there uh, with uh, a few fond memories of the, the X-Men cartoon. Cumberbatch says eight. All, all you uh, old guys who are just begrudging everything. Jubilee is a six, says trusty sidekick. All righty. <laughs> uh, see, Jubilee is a five. I'd go a little higher if it wasn't for the pregnancy and the vampire storyline, says uh, Jim. Yeah, that was a poor use of the yeah, character. I think every five guy from Tolfer as well. But if you're going to base off of what they did their character, a lot of characters, you're, 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 you have to judge every character like that then because yeah. her Marvel X-Men, <laughs> you got to judge them on that too then, right? Rhaegar says a six. Um, I'm a millennial, so I'm a bit biased towards Jubilee. Therefore, I give her a six, would give her higher, but yeah. they lowballed her potential. That's my childhood right there. Yeah, One slip I'm, says seven. My votes are all based uh, up to 2012 where Marvel landed. <laughs> uh cover back fortunately fortunately for me i haven't read any x-men since the 90s so that means uh she should be high on your list <laughs> um okay hey uh that's a that's a good cartoon probably one of the best western cartoons ever yeah. Yep. oh yeah no it, it, it's a it's a great cartoon but she was just you know annoying in the cartoon at times so she wasn't the best thing in the cartoon she's a kid 
It doesn't mean she has Your to. Parents didn't love her. Anymore. Your parents have sold her out. <laughs> so of course, she's going to be acting out a little bit. Uh, All right. She, no, her 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 comic book uh, introduction was better than the cartoon. I'll give you that. Um, Okie dokie. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Finish up your thought. No, I was just saying uh, the way she, how she dupes the the the, the guards, the security guard in the mall, in the comic book versus the cartoon. Cartoon. She's just playing it, and you know, and the thing, you know, then she gets attacked by the Sentinels. It's way different uh, setups, you know, because you had to bring in the other X women in the two base seats to like help her out. But we're in the, in the comic book, you know, she pretty much was making a mockery of like fifteen different. There was a, there was a security guard that just hated her. He was like her arch nemesis, <laughs> like uh, like the mall rats. Yeah. All righty, so uh, let's move on to the next. I think okay. What we got first of all, we got a ranker, don't we? Uh, yeah, two yeah. nines, one eight, two sevens, uh, four sixes, and two fives. That sounds that like bring, a six. That sounds like a six to me. Yeah, I was thinking, do we keep her at six or do we bring her up to a seven? Seven, I'd be. I would say a six because she's she has four sixes, but she has five above six. Yeah. Well, but that's uh, thirty-four on the bottom side. What did you say the other scores were? Okay, that was ten and uh, four. That's uh, like you said. Yeah, that's thirty-four, and then we have. Um, on the other side, on the higher side, we have 14, 20, uh, 22, and then we have uh, 31, 40 on the other side. So, yeah, I'm going to bump her up. There we go. Uh, nope. Okay, try again. Nope. There we go. Okay. Uh, next up, created by Mr. Franklin Miller himself for Marvel Team Up number 100. Sean, what was it? Sean Koi Mon, a Vietnamese hero that came to be known as Karma, one of the original, as a matter of fact, the original leader of the New Mutants. Oh, and uh, oh, wait. Yeah, it's Karma we're doing next. Yeah. Um, I thought she was done very well. Uh, they made her really fat in Asgard. And then, uh, or no, they made her really fat because the, the uh, Shadow King took her over. And then they made her skinny again in Asgard. And then she kind of disappeared. So I would have to put her as a four. As much as I loved her in the New Mutants, I just don't think that they've really uh, used her to her full potential since. What about you, uh, Vink? Well, uh, I just found out today that she's actually a character. And I just found out a few seconds ago that she's part of Pride Month. Um, they brought her back. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, oh, but yeah. I, I don't know anything about her, to be fair. I mean, what's the? I'll give her, I'll give her a five or six, whatever. Okay, do six, be nice. Cause All she's right. got that Frank, she's got that early Frank Miller, <laughs> probably cool Mister Herb and probably uh, New Mutants, you know, probably. Okay, uh, how about you? Okay, I honestly remember nothing of her early days. Just the the stuff that I've seen off and on. She she's she's a three at best. Um, Nineteen seventy two is when she debuted. She's just become a wow. blob of the modern ones, and now, of course, they've you know turned her turned her into an LGBT character, and you know there's an awful one of those awful Infinity online comic books. Oh, really? Oh, uh, those are never good. Wow, it's, 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 ter it's terrible. Yeah, I, so, okay, yeah, no strong feelings one way or the other, says Rhaegar. Uh, Carmen, never heard of her. Literally, she was created by Frank Miller too. Uh, not in 1972, because it was uh, Marvel Team Up 100. That so has they, to be like. Uh, so they retconned her to make her gay. Yeah, yep. Yeah, they they did that uh, later later in her run. Uh, they they had two good runs with her in New Mutants, and then completely so, messed up. We'll yeah. move on because I'm getting a lot of who. <laughs> Cumberbatch said, "Well, Car Max is a good web website. I did get Ronald Ruggs three as well as Rhaegar." And uh, coming soon, I am not karma already. <laughs> so uh, just judging by this, um, three threes and two scores above that, I'm going to put her in the three category. She joins Dust. All righty. Uh, this one's more famous just by a little bit. Uh, Sprite, Shadowcat, 
but uh, for as long as I know her, oh, and uh, one slick dude just said four for Karma. For as long as anybody has ever really paid attention, they just call her Kitty Pride. And you forgot Ariel. Oh, yes, Ariel, too. You're right. You're right. Okay, so uh, why don't you start off, LK? Oh, uh, it's easy. A, a 10. Uh, she is she is one of the, the backbone of the classic, the, the, the main classic X-Men that we all think of. Um, okay. Multiple fantastic stories. Um, just awesome characterization. One of the greatest, by the way, solo issues where it only focuses on her. It's a Christmas story where an alien invades the mansion. Uh, I think that might actually be the first John Byrne, too. I, I may be wrong about that. Uh, incredible story. I agree with you. While, of course, X-Men was going strong without her when uh, when she appeared and when she joined, it just added an extra element to her. Um, to the point where when they when Professor X was thinking about moving her to the New Mutants because it would be more age appropriate, I was like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know if I'd give her a 10, though. I'm going to go nine on, on this one. What about you, RDV? Screw you, Angleteen. I'm giving her a 10. All righty. You know, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, and, and, and one other thing that has to be mentioned is she's become one of the very few uh, major DC Marvel characters that has actually kind of grown up with the audience. Yeah, she's like uh, Marvel's Nightwing. Yeah, uh, right? yeah, like I said, yeah, exactly. She came um, uh, headmistress of, of the school. Uh, I love her, her original sidekick of Wolverine growing up, uh, dealing with Colossus. You know, that was kind of weird because he's like kind of a little old in there. Uh, but her, she's adapted her power. She's, you know, she's not just, you know, a one off character. Uh, is that in, you know, I, I I love the fact that her 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 when she was teaming up with uh with uh Rachel Summers, you know she's just been and she's still to continue today. She's on she's been Star Lord too. Remember you remember that she's the new Star Lord. Um, but yeah, for 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 a minute. Well, in that uh, God, no, I'm gonna say Black Rain, but uh, it's Black uh, Vortex. Yes, yeah. Yes. She winds up with the Power Cosmic for a bit, and even that yeah. was really cool. And then, you know, she had the great story in the uh in the early astonishing x-men where she basically saves the world by phasing into this you know planet killing bullet and sends it out into outer space and gets stuck for yeah. a while um, yeah. and then even if you go back i mean if you want another great read is you would have to correct me on what the the story numbers are but um you know it's where you know basically her you know powers for lack of a term go on the fritz and she becomes you know intangible oh and has a hard time doing that and so she, Check her out. Well, well, well no before it's before her Excal excalibur yes. years what happens is yeah because she because then it kind of keeps her away from the team so she's not in dallas when the x-men have the big battle okay. and appear to the world right. that the x-men have been killed when in fact you know they get transported to the outback in australia and all of that Okay. And then so, you know, her and, you know, Kirk, because he was also out injured, uh, you know, then kind of bond together. And that's when they go to England and meet uh, Captain Britain and Megan and um, Kitty hooks back up uh, with her friend, Rachel, platonic relationship, by the way. Yeah. Um, All right. Um, check her out on current Extreme X-Men right now. She's, it's the main focus going back to the Kitty Pride X-Men uh, as far as Wolverine Kitty Pride story. And you can see how just how much Claremont it just loves that character, how much you know she's matured, and you know, and it's a, she's badass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and just the ignore wrong. everything in Krakoa. Got to get to the numbers, guys. <laughs> um, hey, Ron Martin. Rugg is saying nine. All righty, and uh, let's see, uh, let's see, Batman animated series X Men both debuted in fall uh, '92, and X Men suffers greatly. Says Trusty, we have uh, Pride. Eight for her history. All right. And then we have, uh, let's see, Tolfer saying eight. And then we've got uh, Kitty would have been a 10 until she jilted Colossus. Give her an eight. Says uh, trusty. Screw Colossus. He's a, he's a communist. We don't support them. 
He yeah. he was he was twenty dating a fourteen year old. Uh, Cumberbatch really says nine. I like her as and, and Colossus. All righty. Yeah, and and don't forget too. And I will go to my grave believing this. They basically gave Rogue in the X Men movies Kitty's story. I agree. Yep. I agree. Um, Kitty Pride is a nine for me. I grew up reading comics right around the time, uh, right around where she was still being featured prominently. Uh, Jim Soren says, Kitty annoyed me at the beginning, uh, would come into own after the Kitty and Wolverine limited series. So I'd give her an eight. Alrighty. Uh, one slick dude says eight. And, uh, let's see, do, 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 um, but when strictly thinking Marvel shows, most were bad anim animation. Klaus is underrated, just like Chris Quicksilver. Uh, Patrick, what's up? How you doing? Feel free to uh, vote on the ones you missed as well as uh, the ones that we're up for here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Any more yeah. numbers there? Kitty Pride is one of the strongest parts of the foundation of the X-Men. Give her the respect she deserves. She is cool, not because of her powers, but because of her character. All righty. Man, all, all these sub 10 um, votes, you guys are disappointing me out there. I'm almost, <laughs> wishing, I'm almost wishing we didn't have all these people on the on the stream. Uh, no, we never wish we don't have an audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's like people will go. Uh, it's like the clerks thing, man. This job would be great if it wasn't for the customers. This show would be awesome if people weren't watching. No, that is uh, not a thing. No, um, she deserves a 10. Bump her up. But she gets up. a nine. She gets a nine. Uh, She's got four eights. Two tens oh, and four nines. I'm oh. putting her at the nine. All righty. Next up, though, um, this is something because uh, she's one of the only seven year olds that is allowed to be in the in an X Men team. Her name is Magic, Ileana Rasputin. Oh, and uh, Rhaegar says nine because of uh, Colossus. Okay. All righty. So there we go, gang. Uh, let's start off with Magic. What do you think, LK? Oh boy. Uh, God complicated. Um, again, uh, disregarding any of the modern stuff. I'll go, I'll go an eight. I mean, again, uh, good power set, you know, interesting. She's actually become much more than just, uh, you know, Piotr's, uh, sister. Okay. Yeah. Breaks out into her own. When she, when, when she announced that she is gay, she dropped it up to a 10 for me. Wait, what? Oh. You hear about that? Hold there. They're trying to say that magic was gay. Uh, well, in Krakoa, they've tried to insinuate yeah. that everybody know, is Kitty, Kitty and Kitty and Ileana are <laughs> no, but I I'm putting her as a six. Any of the X Men who who go for magic are freaking perverts. I'm sorry. Okay, so you're you're going uh, six. She's just gonna be kind six. of those characters. that's kind of boring for me. Okay. Um, I I liked Magic in the um, in the New Mutants. I thought she was a fine character. She had a weird power set. I didn't like her character as much, though, because um, right. I, I guess, actually, uh, What's-Her-Name played her really well in the movie because I always thought she was just too hoity. Like, right out the gate, too hoity. She didn't act like somebody who lost a lot of time with the family or... Um, it, I don't know. It's like uh, we want to make her a, the New Mutants version of Wolverine or something. Um, I, although I don't think she was horrible. I'm going to give her a seven. I'm going to put seven down for magic. Yeah. Well, I'll give you a comparison. You should be familiar with the, I mean, I think that Marvel tried to make her their version of Raven. Ah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Except for she's smarmy. Um, Jay Lucen is saying magic and, uh, Rhaegar says seven, nine for, uh, from Jim Sorensen. Yeah. Hey, Ahsoka, uh, it, we're on uh, Ileana Rasputin, or better known as Magic. So, right. yeah, we, we've only been going. Sword. Trusty yeah. says seven. Yeah, we've only been going for an hour. You can probably blame me for that. And then, and then yeah, we've, we've, got, we've only gotten four people. So far. Topher, Topher has said, uh, said strong seven. All right. And then we get, uh, let's see, Magic is gay, though, really? Uh, Magic five, she just doesn't have enough development, says Ronald Rugg. All right, <laughs> Hoity, we've used this before in a stream. Uh, yeah, Hoity. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One slick dude says seven. All righty, and then we have um, ba -ba -ba -bum, uh, damn it, Rhaegar, uh, out of my head. Seriously, that one was a bit eerie. Okay, Hoity, Toity. Oh, and uh, Ahsoka got in a late four. 
Magic is a four. And feel feel free to go back over the ones that uh, we've already done. We are, by the way, halfway through the list. This is, uh, she is number 10 uh, out of the 20. Rager, if you want to know what hoity-toity means, basically it means she, she, she sniffs her own farts and thinks they're great. And she ain't no raven. That yeah. She's not even or, emo. Another word might be conceited. Yes, yes, that would be that would be another yes. word for it. Yes, or Karen. <laughs> All righty. No. So uh, <laughs> she magic got five sevens, one eight, one nine, one six, one five, and one four, um, seven or or six. What do you think? Uh, I'm thinking seven. Get, seven? Go, go with the go with the uh, the median or Come the mode. On. No, it's the mode. There we go. All right, next up, another character that was in the uh, in the X Games, and she was in the Exiles. Man, Her name so is Mero. Say uh, again. See, I, always, I always felt so bad for this this character because she's constantly her bones constantly shifting. You know, just uh, her powers. Yeah, that looks looks painful. Yeah, it, she's one of the ones that reminds. People that sometimes being a mutant isn't great. And she'd love to be cured. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what would you score her, though? Uh, I don't know about any of the comic books, but I do remember from the games, you know, a simple thing with there. I want to give her a seven or six. Probably six. Yeah. Based on that oh, Okay. Oh, goodness. What is her name? I'm just going to call her Phoenix. All righty. And you, you give her a seven? Uh, yeah, give her a seven, yeah. All right. How about you, LK? I really don't have much use for her. I mean, in terms of a uh, wild card uh, talent, she drew the joke. She drew a joker, um, a two. All right. All righty. And that is a two from. And I, once again, yeah, I she think. Was that, X, she was, yeah. X Men Legends think, and Capcom. I think she, she was cool in the game. In the game. And uh, I think that uh, she's got a really good story with her powers, but she hasn't been used a lot since. I'm going to give her right in the middle there. I'm going to give her a five. I think she was a love right. Let me, uh, oh, let me get the, uh, the line up there. Here we go. Maro. Yeah. Well, let's and see the, what everybody else thinks. Well, the just quickly, the, the name you were trying to think of is Rachel Summers. Yeah, I put it. I just figured out Rachel Summers. Yeah, I was like, who who was that again? Rachel Summers. Yes. All right. Ahsoka said, uh, "Morrow is a one." Morrow was in Marvel vs. Capcom, and she was in uh, X Men Legends, which I really love those games. Uh, let's see. Maro says Jay Lucen. Uh, Maro is a six because I respect her resilience. That character is hard to read when you understand what she goes through, says Ronald Rugg. Did you All get right. Rhaegar's four? Rhaegar gave her a four already. And uh, so did Ahsoka. No, she, she gave her a one. Okay. All right. I give Mara a seven. She's been criminally underused since she was an X Men, says Jim Sorensen. Okay. Okay. Anybody else want to vote for on um, uh, marrow? Yeah, bone marrow. Her her bones constantly grow, and they uh, she can uh, what do you say, launch them and such. And one slick says four. All right. Yeah, and I believe she can like also use them to like cover herself as armor and things like that. But yeah, her power just freaks me. Yeah, dude. Like I said, it's. That sounds very painful. Whoops. Let me put it to well, you. I wouldn't be surprised it. if there actually is a disease that's based off of a real life disease where you're, you know, your defect, your bones grown. Okay. Uh, shitty version of her from the movies. Oh, oh, first we got to do Morrow, right? Uh, seven, two sevens, one six, one five, two fours, one two, one one. Uh, I'm. Let's see. We got eleven. We've got fourteen. We got. I'm thinking this is. Uh, she's a four. Yeah, Jay. Uh, Spike. I think Spike came afterwards. He was an epic from evolution. All right. Should should she be a four or a five? Because she does have two sevens and two or fours. Five. Let's go five. God dang it! <laughs> Wait till the picture shows up. 
in the thing. Yeah, I try to, but there you go. Okay, there we are. And uh, next up, we've got Danielle Moonstar, one of the original New Mutants. Uh, and once again, aside from that crappy version of her in the movie, I think she's always been a good character. She became a Valkyrie for a while. Um, and she can pull people's fears out of their minds and, and confront them with it. Good power set. I always liked her as a character. Um, I'm, I'm going to give her a seven. I, once again, I don't think that she is handled very well. And nowadays she tends to only show up in those gay or uh, Native American books that uh, Marvel virtue signals themselves with. What do you think, LK? Yeah, I'll go right, I'll go right there with you. It's uh, a seven. Okay. All right. How about you, uh, Vank? I'll give her a five because I don't know. I've only heard her drink twice now in my whole entire existence of my life. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, there was Proud. What was the other one? Proud Star was the other guy? Uh, James, they're, they're, yeah, two different. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying that's, that's, that's pretty much all I associate her with. Okay. Her, her nationality. Otherwise, I don't know the else about her. All right. All right. Uh, Let's see, what is everybody else saying? Ahsoka, because let's be honest here, uh, he still would just continue to grow if her powers were realistic. Uh, Danny is a nine, says Jim Sorensen. All righty. And uh, let's see, do 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 do, no vote from Jay. I uh, make myself laugh, and that's what matters, says Eric and Boyd. That's the way to be. Danny is a seven from Trusty Sidekick. The uh, older people are voting. So, um, <laughs> is Yara Flora supposed to be like the DC version of her? No. Uh, no. <laughs> one slick dude is uh, seven and eight. Her New Mutant stories were very cool, says Topher. The demon bear is a lot better in the books than it was in the movie. Although I didn't mind the way the demon bear looked in the like, movie. Yeah. What is her power? And uh, Dawn Star gets a nine, says Jay. Jay, you are lowballing Dawn Star. Uh, her power is um, she. she's a mentalist where she could pull your fear out of your mind and oh, okay. confront you with it. She's kind of like Scarecrow without the gas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Moonstar oh, is a good character. I have to give a five. She was good in the beginning, but now she isn't that good. If you asked me like nine or ten years ago, I would have said an eight. That's understandable. It, that's very understandable. Yep. Yeah, well, um, it just suddenly dawned on me which movie you're you were mentioning. So I was racking my brain, going, "Okay, God, when did I see her in an X Men movie?" But it's no, nah, the they X -Men actually, movie. yeah, I'm I'm acknowledging that New Mutants movie that never came out. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, uh, Rachel Summers was that one. Then we have Storm. No, yeah, Rogue Storm, Siren. Wait, do I have, did I write two people in or do I have 21 here again? An X23. Okay. All righty. Next up. Oh, wait. No, we got to rank this one. Don't yeah, we? you got to, you got to put her, put her in the Blackjack. chart somewhere. Blackjack. Okay. So what we've got with Moonstar, two fives. Those are the low balls. We've got four sevens, one, eight, one, nine. Um, uh, it's either a six or a seven. Because we've got two pulling right in, in one direction, we got two pulling in the other direction, mm -hmm. or we just yeah, or we just keep her at a seven. Flip I a keep coin. her at a seven. Yeah. What'd you say, Vank? Flip a coin. Uh, all right. Nope. Too poor to uh, utilize my cash like that. All right. Next up, kids, we've got Mystique, once villain, Professor X spy, the cause for the days of uh, future past. Shapeshifter with her own uh, series by Robert K. Vaughn, which was pretty and cool. I know I sold the uh, trade paperbacks to somebody. LK, what do you say? Hmm. I don't want to put her on the same tier as Kitty, but because I'm still salty, she didn't get a ten. But um, I'll, I'll go. I'll go a nine. I mean, a, a fascinating character. Mistake. I mean, definitely one of the you know you know most recognizable. Um, you know, memorable characters, and she's had she's had a lot of good runs. Well, thank you, uh, Ahsoka, for marking down the Mystique on the board. I appreciate that. Um, Mystique is, I have to say, a solid ten. Just the shape shifting aspect is enough um, to get me to give her that. All righty. How about you, Vink? 
Um, torn. I mean, at one point I would have said ten, but I'm going with nine. Yeah, uh, nine. She's just one of those characters that everybody seems to love, mm -hmm. uh, despite what they've done to her character recently in the past five years. She's still one of those uh, cool characters where you can just change her looks where she wants to be. Like I said, and she's just yeah, she was great in the in the X Men cartoons. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, we got a 10. We've got two nines. Uh, Mystique, man. Uh, I loved her as a villain. I prefer her as a villain. But you know what? I love that miniseries. It showed what she could do. I hated the fact that he gave her four heads and four arms and all that kind of stuff. That was crazy. Rachel. I'm I'm going to, uh, on this one, I'm going to give her a nine. I'm going to give Mystique a nine. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Right. Yeah. No. no, go ahead, Vinkman. No, not you're just putting bad images in my mind. I don't want to see that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I, I was going to say, I mean, she's one of the very, very few characters that's had a decent run during this Krakoa uh, era because she was actually one kind of fighting against it. Okay, Mystique. I'm, uh, or Jim, I'm going to meet you in the middle there and say five. <laughs> uh, Jay says Mystique is a 10. All righty. And we have, uh, I don't give many 10s, but Mystique gets one, says one slick dude. All righty. Mystique gets an eight from trusty sidekick. Um, and I'm a bi female. What is, okay. Uh, not one of my favorites, but important to the team. Give her an eight, says Tolfer. All righty. And uh, let's see. Next up, we have uh, do, 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 10 because she can grow a penis. Says uh, Rachel. <laughs> uh, six wow. tens, two eights, two nines. Uh, so I think it's a ten. Yeah, God, you guys are killing me. All these tens for Mystique, and you couldn't give Kitty a ten. Ugh. Mystique is an easy ten, says Ronald Rugg. All righty. I see two big reasons why they're giving her a ten. Was one of them the penis that she grew for Rachel? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so. Uh, there we go. And uh, Ahsoka says she wants to give G Kitty a 10. Ahsoka, go over the older ones. And uh, we've got Blink, Dazzler, Domino, Dust, Emma Frost, Jean Grey, Jubilee, Karma, Kitty Pride, Magic, Morrow, Moonstar, and Mystique. So, uh, yeah, if you want to give the list or leave it in the comment section. Hey, here after. we go. So Ahsoka gives, gives Kitty a 10. Krennas, hey, welcome. Just What's gave up? Kitty a 10. That should bump her up to a 10, don't you think? Um, we now have five eights, five nines, and five tens. Ronald I still Rugg's think she deserves start, a nine. Ronald Rugg, you confused me. They start with two daredevils, Vinkman. Yep. Oh, LK wins. Get a probably gets a 10. There we go. Okay, kids. But Mystique, on the other hand, has five tens. Oh, by the way, Krenez, if y'all haven't voted for, uh, if you guys haven't voted for Mystique, uh, put in a vote here, real quick. Right now, she's got one five, uh, two eights, and uh, three nines, and uh, five tens. There you go. Yeah, daredevils. Woo! Gotta love them daredevils. <laughs> All right. Uh, so where would we put her? It, we, got five on, we got five on one side, three on the other side, and three pl promptly at nine. Yeah, she got enough tens. Put put her in the ten category. Alrighty. There we go. So far, only two women have reached the pinnacle, have reached the top. And three. one of them is not Kitty Pride. Okay, next up, uh, young lady was in the uh, was in the. X-Men, what was this? First class. Her name's Pixie. She was big in the 2000s. People enjoyed her then. Um, well, yeah, I, she's I the don't know too much about her. I've read a couple of stories. Uh, they were okay, but I'm going to have to go four on she's her. She's the but, one that had that she was basically looks like a giant fairy. She is. Right. She's okay. How about you, uh, Venkman? Then uh, tell us your score while I mark out the... Uh, uh, I'm going to give her an eight. Um, okay. She's not as popular as some of the other ladies that are on this list here, but she was popular enough. Uh, they brought her in in the mid-2000s, early to mid-2000s. Uh, 
I just remember she had like she had she was basically she, if you've ever watched uh, My Hero Academia, there's this girl in there. She throws the acid. She's purple. She has the black eyes. The big eyes. That's pretty much what uh, Pixie was. Pixie was also in a band. She, I think she was a guitarist or something like that, or dating one of the guys. Other than that, it said, uh, yeah, she's basically like they're like the new Blink in the sense. Can't remember exactly. Can't remember what her powers were though. I just know she came from a different universe. I think. Mm-hmm. And where would you? Uh, where would what number? I said eight. Already. Eight. Okay. How about you, LK? Uh, a solid five. She had she had one moment, but I mean, has been as far as I'm concerned, pretty irrelevant since then. Okay. Uh, well, Rhaegar's agreeing because he's saying who? Uh, Pixie gets a seven from Jay Lucian, though. All righty, and yeah. uh, let's see. Do do do. do uh, Jim blend. saying yeah. Pixie. Pixie yeah. gets a seven from Ronald Rugg as well. I have to say six, seven, uh, six for the first class and seven for the comics one. And so I'll give her a seven. All right. Oh, yeah. she has psychotropic oh. properties as far as yeah. I think she Pixie, can. Pixie I would... gets a five from Trusty and a six from one slick. I was just about to tell you that, Vinkman. I'm looking up on the xmen.fandom.com wiki. Uh, I just, type in, I just do Google. Rhaegar <laughs> says five, I guess, and Kabebe is like, never heard of her. Yeah, she was in uh, X Men First Class. I don't know Pixie well, so we'll pass on this one. And, 2000s uh, X Men, if you didn't, if you weren't a fan of the X Men in the going, yep, she was big so. in the, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, if you missed the earlier ones, uh, please feel free to uh, leave a comment with your votes for, for the last uh, 13 of them. Uh, they are going to go to a video. I am scoring them up. I was just about to, uh, as a matter of fact, I've got everything set up to create the Justice League, and then I'll I'll do this one uh, right after. There we go. All righty, and uh, let's see. What do we got? Uh, so it's a six, says Ahsoka. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll change it. Okie dokies. Artichokies. And that is yeah. the... If you, if you ever read the Messiah Complex, that's where she was really big in that. She joined the new X-Men. Oh, yeah. she was Zoe Kravitz in X-Men First Class. Isn't Zoe Kravitz Catwoman now? Yeah, she 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 went up in the world. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah. All righty. So uh, she got one eight, three sevens, one yeah. six, three fives, and one three, I'm thinking six. She, I think she's like a sidekick to magic now, but oh, I'm yeah? not sure. I, so. yeah, I, was, I was just looking through at some point, she like lost a piece of her soul and she learned a teleportation spell from magic. And yeah, but she has, rather. but the yeah. big thing about her is that she has a hallucinogenic dust, you know. Yeah, whoopee, pixie dust. Yeah, she's cute. Uh, all righty, kids. Yeah. Um, not one of the original X Men, but. Uh, this is she's a Neil Adams creation, Polaris. Oh, I was gonna say, who the heck is this? Is this... <laughs> this is Polaris. She married uh Alex Summers, Havoc, and uh, she's got magnetic powers. Did and, they marry uh, awesome green hair? She was in, I believe, X Factor for a while, the Peter David run. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've always liked her character, I've always liked uh, the way that she's she was written and utilized, but she's just not utilized oh. enough. I'm going to give her a solid seven. I didn't know that they actually married. I thought they like they broke up. Like they're at a thing. Well, I thought they were married for a little bit, but yeah, they were uh, together. Point. Yeah, I, I, actually, I believe they were married at some point. Plus, don't forget too, she's the daughter of Magneto. Or eh. I thought they just debunked that. Oh, did they? Whatever. Well, yeah. well to anyway. me, to me, she'll always be a daughter of Magneto. So she was I, awesome I, in, I, uh, I, in uh, yeah, in the gifted, and I'll say I like green. Yeah, some of the other cartoons. Well, reading the X Men, I think it was that too. Yep, and I'll agree with one slick dude, uh, Solid Eight. Uh, she's a very solid character. Uh, she's been written well many times, and she's a fun character to have around. I remember uh, when uh, this is way back when Rogue and Gambit lost her powers. I remember that she was like she was fighting with Alex, and like she, for one point, she actually put on her father's helmet. Uh, wait, what would you give her, LK and RDV? Well, LK oh, said, I'll give her. Oh. Go ahead, okay. I'll give her an eight. Okay. Yeah. I want I want to give her eight too as well. 
All righty. Cool, cool, cool. Um, before I, I put the uh, the thing up, we got a uh, Rhaegar saying she has an eight. All right. Olivia then, Munn wasn't Polaris, though. So. Uh, no, Olivia Munn was Psylocke. Uh, yeah. Nine from Trusty Sidekick. Uh, do, 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 do five from Jim Sorensen. All right. And then we've so got, crazy. uh, I like Polaris a lot during the 1990s X Factor days. Yeah, she was good in that. So, you don't have to type out what the votes are because he's writing them down himself. Seven from Polaris. I am afraid she would attract my glasses when I'm close to her. Well, uh, let's see. You got that. Uh, let's see. She literally is Magneto's daughter, says uh, Rhaegar. Polaris Pass says uh, J. Lord. Okay. Um, let's see. Ronald Rugg says seven only because of Olivia Munn. All righty. Yeah, he, uh, let's see. He, says he still stands by a seven despite uh, mixing up those characters. Uh, plus, green hair was hot before it was weird. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Too true, Rhaegar. Too true. All righty. We'll give you a half point uh, for Trivia Man. All right. There we go. Okay, and uh, let's see what we she ended up with. Uh, one nine, three. We we've lost some voters here. Anybody listening in? Okay, MK just put a seven. All right, Kren, Kren do you have a vote here? If you're listening in, I, I like DC's Polaris better. Um, yep. uh, Kren, Kren is, uh dropped in a seven. Okay. Yeah, literally right before you. We I got you. Up. Yep. There. <laughs> Okay, and we got a seven, and then uh, there we go. All righty, boom, boom. And uh, let's see, we've got one nine, three eights, five sevens, and one five. So, do the four above seven bring her up to an eight? Or do we keep her at the seven? How, the how, how many sevens were there? There's five sevens, three eights, and one nine. What do you think? What do you think? I, I think I think it stays a high seven. A high seven? All right. Yeah. High go. seven. <laughs> high seven, what's up? All righty, gang. Now you're going to ask me, which one of this is, is, is Psylocke? Frankly, whenever I think of Psylocke, I think the uh, the Betsy Braddock in an Asian's body Psylocke. Yep. Uh, not the That's... oh my god, we can't have that because it's racist uh, Psylocke. Oh god, um, what, what, what's but your, it's, it's it just freaking Psylocke. How cool do you think Psylocke is? Yeah, I'll, I'll oh. say ten for the next four ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah, I mean, Psylocke is pretty, is pretty good, but, uh, a nine, I, nine? I, I can't go, I can't go 10, nine. Okay. We have a 10 from Venkman. We have a nine from, uh, LK and I think she looks awesome. I liked her in some situations, but I never thought she was great and she was horrible in, in the game, uh, Capcom game. I'm giving her an eight. All righty, and we have, uh, let's see, Mike saying 8.5, and then we've got uh, Jay saying 9. Uh, Mike, that's an 8. All righty. And uh, Jay, check out the original Wally West Flash run. Mag Magneta is definitely, yep. Uh, now Psylocke is 7 because of Olivia Mon. All right, says Ron I don't know, she looked hot in that outfit, man. Uh, she is not a... Bad looking woman. That Jay says nine. Problem. All right. And uh, let's see. Psylocke for her powers is a nine and her appearance is a 10. All righty. Um, when you figure that one out there, just send a, send a single number. One slick dude says nine. All righty. And uh, let's see, do 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 do. Uh, trusty sidekick says nine, which I think didn't you say beforehand? Did I get a nope? Uh, let's see, do 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 nine for her here. And uh, killer baby says seven. All right, she's a high scoring character here. 
I like British Psylocke better, and that story was weird, confusing, where she switched bodies, but generally she was a cool nine because, well, Psylocke. All righty. Uh, let's see. This now she's a ten, says Ahsoka. All righty. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Rhaegar, I will say that the, the whole cape and hood thing that she had going on made her look very mysterious, which was a cool part of that character, yeah. that era when she and was. And Tehillim is saying eight. Yeah. I don't do. Course, we're not she, doing point fives. Yeah, of course, she's still been British, and of course, now she's British again because she's Captain Britain, and she's the bestest ever. All righty, cool, cool. I mean, you know, is, is she really the bestest ever, or are they just, I mean, do they write her as the best character, or do they just say uh, she's, she's the best She's the Captain Storlock. That's she's she the is. bestest ever. All righty. So yeah. we have for her, we've got... Uh, we got seven, <laughs> uh, 11, 13 votes, two sevens, four eights, five nines, two tens. Did you get I the think last she's eights? a nine. I think yeah. that puts her in the nine category. Yeah, that's a nine. Yeah. To heal him, we don't do point fives here, so we're just counting that as an eight. Yep. Yeah. And, and E, you know, she's the bestest ever because she's written by superstar creator uh, Teeny Howard. Oh, so they just say that she's the best. Okay, they don't. Oh, write so she ruined that character too. Teeny, I doubt just... Teeny Teeny Howard is writing her well. All righty, gang. Uh, the product of Days of Future Past, we get Rachel Summers, the uh, daughter of Jean Grey and Cyclops from another timeline. She controlled the Phoenix for a while, and I gotta tell you, I have never liked her. I have <laughs> never liked this character. Um, uh, I always yeah. thought she was useless, kind of boring. I'm giving her a two. How Alasha, about you, okay? Alasha Comics hates you because that's his favorite character. Who? Uh? Alasha Comics loves Rachel. Ash loves Rachel? Okay. Uh -huh. well, <laughs> well, the Ra nah, Rachel Summer is not Rachel P. <laughs> Don't get the confused, yeah. Okay? Uh, no, yeah, no, our, no. our Rachel is so much more interesting and fun than uh, comic book Rachel. Yeah, ah ah Ahsoka, her superhero name is Phoenix. At one point, well, yeah, that's yeah. uh, yeah, I, I yeah. think it still is, but yeah, oh, Rachel, 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 trust you said four. really, really loved her, uh, in Excalibur because that was when she's really started to kind of come out of her shell yeah. and become her own character. Of course, that was helped a lot by Chris Claremont and uh, Al Davis. After that, uh, up and down, I'll be generous and give her an eight, an eight, okie dokie. Um, okay. Uh, already, so we have an eight from you. Yeah. Oh, and I guess her current alias is Prestige. Ah, and I gave her a two. And then I'm giving her a ten. One I love her, I love her in extreme uh, X Men right now. Love her in, in, in that. Yeah. So basically, and you give her a ten. Her and Rachel are basically like. Two peas of pod. And we had a four from trusty sidekick. And we had a uh, five from Tehillim. Soka, have you read the Extreme X Men? And Rachel Where Summers gets a four from Ronald Rugg. Alrighty. So I'm basing it off of that, not the. And then one the slick stuff. dude gives a five. And uh, let's see, a one from Ahsoka. Uh, Jay Lucian gives a five. I read some comments. She's completely forgettable and is not a good character. I agree. Uh, she's a six for me, says MK. All righty. Uh, five from Killer Bebe. Uh, da -da -dum. Giving her a six, says Krenez. Everybody's just, putting down, everybody's just putting down Rachel. I'm not putting down Rachel Summer. Like, Rachel's a six. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Rachel is six, says Rachel. <laughs> I'm getting called away. We'll come back later if I can. Hey, Killer Bebe, also remember that you can put your uh, list where you would put them in the comment section after the video's uh, posted. All righty, but uh, you take care. Be safe. All righty, so right now we've got uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 votes, and one, one 10, one 8, three sixes, four fives, two nine, or two fours, and a two. And uh, let's see. I'm thinking 
four fives. Uh, I'm thinking a five or a six for Miss Rachel Summers because she's got uh, four fives, three sixes, but she's also got an eight and a ten. I think the ten should uh, put her in the six category. Being fair. All right, right next to Pixie. There we go. All righty. Next up, we've got Rogue, who okay. uh, our okay. Rachel already gave a 10 to. How about you, Vank? You want to can, uh, start this one sure, off? Sure, sure. I'm going to say 10. LK, if you see anything different, then you're just, you're just a black pill. <laughs> just like, Rogue is, Rogue is by, by, by my favorite character, the X-Men. Let me... Uh, uh, tra tragic, as far as powers go, I... Now... Just like every character at Marvel, I got it, Ahsoka. Thank you. They tend to uh, do some bad stories, and I'm looking at Uncanny Avengers, uh, and overpowered her to the point where she could just defeat uh, the, uh, Thanos and Dark Side at the same time if she wanted to. It's dumb, but other than that, though, like I said I like the fact that they actually finally decided to pair up her and, and uh, Gambit back again. Because that, that killed a lot of fans, too. Yeah, I actually like their comic, uh, Mrs., Mr. and Mrs. X. I actually like that. That was the original cool. one. There's Lee Limbs. Yeah. yeah. So you give you give her a 10. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Know, How about you, LK? <laughs> well, Sugar, um, just as <laughs> the way that you hated on uh, Rachel Summers, that's pretty much how I feel about Rogue. Um, overused, hey, come on, stream. Over, overused, overexposed. Uh, she has become a lazy uh, character for any of these hack writers because, again, she's just become a Swiss Army knife of whatever whatever they want to do with the story they can have her do because she's super special and her absorbing powers let her do everything. Um, you know, I'll be generous because she's a popular character uh, for a four because you recognize her yeah. cultural again impact. again i would i would have, again i would have given her a five but she was a whiny prat in the original oh my gosh movie. And, they, and they took kitty sto kitty story and basically grafted it onto her Dude, you're okay, the only well, one mike saying says, this is not a 10 everyone says says 10. <laughs> mike says a 10 um rogue uh from ahsoka says a 10 trusty says a 10. all righty um Rhaegar says a 10. Uh, this is not a debate, uh, says Rhaegar. And uh, let's see. I will happily, also, I will happily Ron stand Rugg on this says island. 10, and if you say otherwise, you need to get checked. I, I uh, love Eric. Eric, Eric um, uh, if Rogue well, doesn't like, make a 10, y'all smoking crack yeah. under the bridge. Well, we smoke something, <laughs> sir. All righty, so uh, I guess I, I will say I will say the only good thing that Rogue has done in her uh, comic book career was to, uh, you know, basically put Carol Danvers in a coma. Oh man, Jay Lucian gets a ten, uh, gives a ten. Jim Sorensen says uh, ten. All righty, next up, uh, let's see. And I think the character sucks. I'm giving straight up one. Uh, there's just no sense in going higher than that. Uh, Krenez says a ten. Like, my okay, right here's now. why I give her a one because I live in the South. That is a ridiculous accent. That's Are you sure, point. sure, sugar? <laughs> it's it's a no. I'm 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 sorry, but LK, you're you're on you're on crack on this one, yeah. What? No, hey, I'm the one who gave her a four. I'm just making fun of of her accent. Tolfer, yeah, Tolfer, Tolfer says seven. He he breaks the streak. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, if you if you want to criticize Chris Claremont for something, you can criticize him for some for the way that he would write uh, accents for characters. No, so I'm 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 joking about that. Uh, one slick says uh, back then ten, now a nine. Uh, I liked Rogue when she was possessed by Carol Danvers. That was one of the best stories, where she actually uh, goes to one, a Shield agent, and. Um, she goes to him with the memories of Carol Danvers and he has no idea who she is. And she's trying to hit on him because the Carol Danvers uh, personality is, it's one of the best X-Men stories of all time. Um, the change my kitty pride to a one. I didn't want to vote until later, but rogue gets a 10 says Eric and Boyd. I already wrote that down for you. Um, from me, I, 
I'm giving her a nine. They're all like, change Katie Pride to one in spite of LK's bad take. I, okay. as I said, I will happily stand uh, stand on this island alone. You know, okay. you are on this island alone, dude. Uh, she's got um, 12 tens, two nines. Only the guy with the L in his four. first name would have an L take. Yeah. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> I, I'm afraid there's no freaking way we don't put her in the uh, 10 column. Uh, All right. Again, more overexposure for... Uh, Focus, there on, you go. focus on the good comics, not the bad ones. Came uh, later, thank cause... you very much for the super chat. Ronald Rugg saying just wanted to publicly accept LK's resignation. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for the super You'll chat. You'll have dude. to thank carry you. me out on my shield. All righty. All righty. Um, oops. Wrong one, but here we go. No, we're on a storm. Um, look, uh, I've loved her since she first appeared. She is uh, culturally important. She's one of the strongest of, of the X-Men. Um, she is one of the most important X-Men, whether it's in the, the uh, movies, whether it's in the cartoons, whether it's in the video games or the comics. Storm is absolutely 150% a 10. What would you say, RDV? 10 man like i said she's proven to be a leader by uh, mm -hmm. uh if you read secret wars the way xavier talks down to her it's like she's just basically proven she can handle herself in any fight uh, you know and to succeed her upbringing with gambit uh, the shadow king she's just going over obstacles and just just to say you know where she has her status okay plus, she, plus she's hot and she's got the power to make it nice here if you want so or, or <laughs> it's her off. Hey, i already live in florida so i'm good but she, pissed her uh, off. Yeah, she turns florida saying. into like uh antarctica yep okay so. uh lk where do you put her oh come on guys uh storm is a one zero uh mm -hmm. ten all righty so uh, basically kind of more or less for everything you guys have guys have said um, Jay, you should be going after Zach on that one. That way we all know you're kidding, but okay. Uh, let's see. Jim says, uh, a 10 as well as trusty sidekick. All right. What do let's you consider see. the bad storm? The Mohawk? Uh, pull LK by his, uh, Giants jersey. Obviously storm is a 10, says Jay. All right. Uh, Ron Rugg says storm is a 10. And, uh, this depends on storm's hairstyle. Storm's character is a solid 10, says one slick. All righty. Uh, Jim, she was even awesome without powers, and that is the true fact. Yes. I uh, newest hairstyle is a 1, but old hairstyle is a 10. Uh, and if you don't feel Wolf Wolverine is a 10, you're a bigot. Uh, Tehillium is uh, saying a 20 out of a 10, but we'll stick with 10. That's good. All righty. Uh, 10, great character with flaws, one of the best leaders of the X-Men. People forget that last part, says Krenez. Okay, uh, okay. And MK says only a 7 for him. MK, you have failed us. All righty. And uh, Rhaegar says Storm is an 11, but we'll be good with 10. Uh, Storm is a 6, says Ahsoka. All right. Uh, she can make it windy in any room, any night. Tolfer says nine, and uh, new voter Anthony Bellello is saying a ten. And feel free to uh, leave your votes for the older ones in the comment section when the video is posted, or if you want to do here, you could go over them. Um, but hey, welcome. And Tolfer says nine, and he says ten. Storm is the one character that can end racism. We all love her. Yeah. Well, I was going to say another reason why she's a 10, too, is that because she actually had a good vampire story. Hey, there you go. That's one way to say it. Don't all vampire stories suck regardless? No. <laughs> oh, okay. It took me a little bit to realize you were punning. Um, yeah. Let's see. Mike says nine, but only because she's not rogue. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Mohawk Storm is great as well. By the way, on this channel, I do have a, 
uh, story. Uh, I do have a video based on the Mohawk. It's the first appearance of the Mohawk. Uh, and I go over that book and talk about it. But uh, Ronald, they, Ronald, we can't, we, we kind of retired the gallows. It was getting a little messy. I didn't want to, it was tired of yeah. cleaning up. So, but uh, yeah, by all means, check out Mohawk Storm on this channel and on Old Man Comics, now known yeah. as From the Long Box. Now he's Same here. I know more about Storm's yeah. backstory, the story she's been part of, her yeah. leadership, uh, the costume. I'm on the fence about her powers, though. She gets a nine, says Eric and Boyd. We retired the gallows and we got the pit of despair now. Okay. No, I was going to say, just put me in the stocks and you can throw as much uh, rotten fruit at, uh, at me as you want to. I'll read the opening I'll comments. Gladly, of the chat. Uh, Wait, what were the opening comments like of the of the video? Oh, uh, I guess I should. By all means. Yeah. If you're new voting and you're wondering, hey, what are we using as a uh, as um, I guess a standard? Do you think they're cool? How cool do you think they are? Horribly bad. Uncool is a one. An awesomely great cool is a 10. So there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, if you go in the stocks willingly, I'm going to read Deadpool comics to you. All right. <laughs> <And> <laughs> it looks like we've got all the votes in. And uh, so. Eric says, best uh, Mohawk Storm is from issue three of America by National Treasure Gabby Rivera. Yeah, Corinna she, she even rocked as Bloodstorm in uh, Mutant X. So that's okay. That's how also, good a character she was. Also, Thor. Storm, by the way, uh, got one more ten than Rogue did. Yay! He's got the three nines, got something right, one seven and one six. Um, but the same thing goes. There's so many freaking tens. There's no way she can't be in the ten category. All righty. Yeah, well, see, ah Ahsoka, you know, I'll admit, basically most of my voting is, uh, you know, based on everything up to around 2010. Yeah, this is mine too, in all honesty, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Mm. Bloodstorm killed Kitty. Siren, speaking of Siren, didn't she date Deadpool? Did she? I think she did. God, I hope not. I know we we uh, we actually I sold Siren's first appearance a couple of months ago on the auction. All righty, uh, let's see let's see where we're going here. Uh, Siren, daughter of Banshee, same power set. First appearance in Spider Woman, which I think Basie. is the image that we're looking at is off the cover. It looks very similar anyway. Basically, Marvel realized they needed to have more hot female characters, so they basically, basically wanted to create a female version of Banshee to get the more the guys want reading. Maybe, maybe. Uh, that being said, I she's a copycat, and um, I've read a few stories. Uh, she's okay, but I'm giving her a five. Well, she's a banshee. She's just, she basically became more realistic. A woman that screams at you because a woman that screams. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. What? What would? Where would you put her then? Uh, uh, I want to put. I want to put her at eight. Eight. Okie dokies. How about you, LK? Oh well, she is the quintessential uh, redhead Irish lass. Uh, and had a great uh, run in one of the versions of X Factor. Um, yeah, I'll go eight. All right. She's got a soft spot in my heart. She's a ginger. She always uh, be. Why is mid. Siren? Uh, she's a butterfly, but what was she supposed to? No, that's just to the wings of her cape. She glides off the sound waves, so she's got the cape. Um, Jay's like Siren. Uh, let's see. Uh, two from Ahsoka because she's got sensitive hearings. All righty. And let's see. Uh, Siren gets a six from one slick dude. And then we have uh, seven. I liked her best in Peter Davis at X Factor. That is a really good run. Yep. Uh, let's see. That is Ginger, not Red, says Ahsoka. And so she'll be played by a black person in the movie. Actually, she wasn't, but that was 20 years ago. Uh, Rhaegar says Siren is an eight. And then, uh, Mike says Banshee is a six or Siren. Exactly. Yeah. Right-headed Irish women are kryptonite. Becky Lynch, kryptonite, bro. Siren gets a seven from Eric and Boyd. <laughs> I can't help it. Odd. And, uh, <laughs> Tulfer yeah. says an eight. Yeah. Yeah. So Venkman, main event time. Do they pull the trigger and give it to Cody? Now, Cody's All righty, and uh, let's see. She's got right now four eights, two sevens, two six, one five, 
one, two. So she's being pulled down into the seven category. Krenez comes up with a seven. Uh, Roman Reigns has a Jade Cargo effect. They bring in a new big bad to wrestle against him, and then he always wins. Mm. Yeah, but this would be the culmination of the storyline. If they want, if Vince wanted to put a new leaf and prove that he's not the same old Vince that's crazy and ruins everything, sure. Yeah. Okay, well, looks you, like the you, uh, you votes are done. Hold on, guys. It looks like the votes are done. And uh, four eights, three sevens, and then four below seven. So I think she lands firmly in the seven cag- category. There you go. Along with po- along with a couple of them, not a bad group to be a part of here. All right, and last. But Can't not believe. least, X23. Uh, 10. Now, you have to give her a 10, guys. Okay, but... now here's the thing. <laughs> they said she's daughter of Wolverine. Uh, I don't Bottle. know if they pulled that back. I think that she's a good character with bad writers. I think Marvel was uh, took a bad trip by calling her Wolverine instead of X23. What is... I, I, I'm going to go, uh, once again, I'm going to go six on this one. She is still a copycat. She's not Wolverine. I don't think the writers have done her justice. What do you think, LK? Oh, you know, she she's a derivative character. She's never been written well. Um, she always seems just annoying. Oh, one. If I, could, if I could vote a zero, I would, but we'll go okay. one. All righty. What about you, Vink? Uh, when she's first introduced, like I said, going off of that, by Chris Yost, that she, I disagree. I thought she was very inter- interesting. Uh, her interaction with Gambit and Wolverine. Uh, I want to give her a nine. Okay. And the only, uh, Jay, the, okay, Jay. the only the only thing that people hate about her is the fact that she has Wolverine's costume. If she would say X twenty three, you all would be like, oh my gosh, I love her still. I, yeah, I think that's no. the case. I think that we uh, just haven't has seen her written, utilized. She still right. has to be written well f- the first time. She's never been written well. I disagree. All right, Jay says eight. And then we have uh, six from Trusty Sidekick. All right, next up we have uh, nine from Mike. And then we have, uh, she's a good character, but not that well written as of late for the past 10 to uh, 13 years. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. Uh, A solid two from Jim. And uh, let's see, five, I guess. Laura gets five, says Rhaegar. All righty. And one slick dude says five. And then we get Powers and Lineage is a 10, but her story is 5. She needs more. I'll give her a solid 6, says uh, Ronald Rogue. Rug? God damn, I've been fucking up his name, and it's the simplest thing Uh, in the world. Ronald Rogan. Ronald Rogan. Ronald Reagan, Ronald Rogan, and uh, yes. Okay, uh, 6. There we go. Um, She is a one, uh, her character is just so bad, and I don't see her ever getting a good writer with Marvel the way it is today, says Ahsoka. Topher says six, and uh, Eric and Boyd says three. Well, if we're going that route, then all the other ones, as far as Storm and all of them, they're all ones. Look at the current X-Men. Storm Storm (laughs) actually had the line, I don't see too many mayo eaters around here in a Black Panther. She uh, was referring to white people, of course. So, yeah, a, a bad writer can make you really not like a character. Um, MK says, I'll give an eight. The movie Logan made me like her more. I'll admit that. Well, you know what? I can admit that same thing. That was a pretty freaking awesome movie with some really good characters. Uh, three out of ten for Tehillim. All righty. Except we've never seen that Laura again. And That's I'm true. I'm not sure that was Laura. Krenez says a seven. Aaron Free says Claremont wrote her well. Beyond that, though, yeah. see, so she was. Well, right and now. more yep. importantly, too, she's not the only Wolverine sister running around either. And Ahsoka gave her a one. Her daughter, or whatever the hell. Honey Badger. Yeah, whatever her name is. Yeah. All yeah. righty. Here's where she stands: two nines, one eight, one seven, uh, four sixes. Two fives, no fours, three, uh, two threes, one two, and two ones. Wow. So her big number is uh, six. 
but you got four pulling her towards a higher number and seven pulling her towards a lower number. I'm I'm going to have to put her in the five category. All right. Oh my. Yeah, God. four or five. Maybe even a four because five, she's got, yeah, five of those numbers are pulling her down. Hmm. Yeah. I, I agree with Ahsoka. So like a four. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. And that is the count, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is where we leave them. This is where we left off. We've got two characters at three, Dust and Magic. Who do you think is the uh, is the best out of these two? Dust That's not Magic. magic. Uh, that, that karma. Karma. Although I thought it was armor. I, I think they're in a good them. order right there. I've, I've heard of Dust. I haven't heard of the other one. Yeah, okay. I, I would have put Dust higher, but All right. All right. whatever. Let's move up, and we've got the sixes, which is Pixie and Rachel Summers. Wow, I, they so deserve to be at number six, right? I can't think of a uh, boring choice right here. I, I think Rachel deserves to be a little higher, and Pixie yeah. deserves to be lower. Okay. Danny Moose or whatever should be down to six. And then we've got these six and the sevens. All righty. So uh, let, me, let me do this. I just want to say real quickly – you guys, uh, you guys ranked X twenty three as <laughs> yes, very much yes, so. We did. Uh, okay, so <laughs> you've got six characters here: Blink, Magic, Jubilee, Moonstar, Siren, and Polaris. Who would you put at the top of that list? Who would you put at the bottom? And where would you put the ones in the middle? Who's who's your top right there, uh, LK? Uh, top would be uh, Lorna. Uh, Polaris. For I agree. I'm, I'm agreeing with you on that. I think Polaris deserves to be at the top of this yeah. particular See, th segment. This is where I'm going to show my my old school old man side. So it'd be Polaris, uh, Siren, Magic, uh, Blink, Moonstar, and Jubilee. I I would do it just a little different. <laughs> I would I would just a little bit too. I'd have uh, Jubilee in in front of Moonstar, and then Blink. Like uh, like this, yeah. Let me see. No, uh, no, I didn't say that. Who is the number one? I think Pixie deserves to be where she is. We've got Danny is the number one. We got Jubilee is the number one. Polaris on top. Uh, Trusty has got the gray in his beard. Uh, same as me here. Um, let's see. You with only two uh, going. Uh, I'll at least respect to the the J here, and we'll put it like this, and we'll move on because, in all honesty, I don't want to hang around. If anything, <laughs> out of all those characters, Magic is the one that's most overused currently. Next one. Oh, Magic. Yeah, lately. Would that be your list? I actually well, agree with LK's ranking for well, the seven. The way you originally had it. Yeah. Before you moved it all around, is magic being in third? Uh, having, fourth. And, or four, uh, and having a siren in it as second and Jubilee as fourth would have been my thing. Ah, okay. Uh Polaris, Kitty. Oh, well, Kitty's not here. Uh Moonstar, Polaris, Kitty, Moonstar, Jubilee, Siren, Magic. Oh, that's uh Polaris, Jubilee. Kitty. Kitty's not in this. Yeah, who is he? Oh, oh Blink. Uh, Blink is uh, Kitty for one slick. Okay, Polaris, Moonstar, Jubilee, Siren. Did you just assume they're gen all day long? I would have Siren as last and the Fear Girl at second in terms of number seven. Okay, so wow, we've all got ideas on this one. Get that. Yep. Um, for now, I think, uh, let's see, we've got, uh, I put Siren at the bottom. Along with the, the one person I have to say, Polaris. Okay, so I think from what we're hearing here, this is this is good. Okay, I think this is good. Do Dazzler first, Domino second. If they have to stay stay at an eight, yeah. I mean, I personally would dump Domino down to the sixes and move Phoenix. But that, the this is the way the this eight, is the way the cookie crumbled. I, <laughs> so, I yeah. said, Daz said Dazzler is far superior to a domino she should be uh, in the nine uh, and the other day it flips for me but okay so uh how about uh jean gray kitty pride and psylocke kitty i psylocke, would put jean. kitty pride one up yep and psylocke then jean and then then that way 
Yeah, I'm good with that. You good with that, LK? How about you guys? I I would flop. I would flop Gene Gray and Psylocke, but yeah. that, that last part doesn't matter. K- Kitty so is like agents. Yeah, K- <laughs> Kitty is the top nine. Now let's talk Should about the end. important ones, guys. Here you go. Uh, truly, one through four. Rank the tens. Uh, put your one through four because I'm actually going to add this up. I'm going to put the points in here for our for our top ten uh, because right now you're you're as we stand. Your uh, what would it be? I guess uh, one through sixteen, or or uh, I guess that would be twenty through four or five. At number twenty, we have Karma. Number nineteen is Dust. Eighteen is X twenty three. Seventeen is Marrow, 16 is Pixie, 15 is Rachel Summers, 14 is Blink, 13 is Danielle Moonstar, 12 is uh, Siren, 11 Magic, and the top 10, Jubilee, Polaris, Domino, Dazzler, and I guess this would be uh, uh, number 7 would be Jean Grey, number 6, Psylocke, number 5, Kitty Pride. What is four, three, two, and one? Oh, LK, what, what would you say? <laughs> uh, number four, you know, distant, distant fourth that can barely even see the top three would be Rogue. Uh, third would be Mystique. Second would be Emma. And number one would be Storm. Okay, so you're going a Rogue with a, a four. Say it again. Uh, top to bottom or bottom to top? Uh, number four is Rogue. Number three, uh, Mystique. Number two, Emma. And Storm is one. All righty. How about you, Vank? Uh, my number four would be Mystique, followed by Emma Frost. And All right. Storm is number two, and Rogue is number one. Okay. Four is Mystique. Three is Emma Frost. Uh, did you say Storm is number two? Yep. And then Rogue is number one. All right. Good Lord. Did you have a crush on Anna Paquin or something? No. I had a crush one on Slick Dude Moore says Anna Storm is number one. I don't count the crappy uh, X-Men movies, bro. <laughs> and uh, Mystique is number two. Emma Frost is number three. And Rogue is number four. And Jay says Rogue is number one and Frost is number two. I'm not your bro, guy. Number three is... Uh, um, Mystique, and then number four is Storm. Not your guy, pal. All righty. And then we have uh, Trusty saying uh, Storm is number one and Emma is number two. All right. And then we have number three for Jim being, uh, oh, Storm. Rogue is number two. Emma is number three. Okay. And that means Mystique is number four. I have to say Mystique is a uh, number one at top, uh, then Rogue, Frost, and Storm. All righty. So Storm is number f- is four. Three is Frost. All righty. Two is Rogue, and then Mystique is number one. All Kadok is uh, Rogue, Storm, Emma, and Mystique, and Eric Boyd. I'm assuming he is going by one, two, three, four. That's how I'm counting everything. We got Rogue, Storm, Emma, and Frost. Uh, Let's see uh, who else we got. Not going to lie, I kind of don't care what order. A bit too persnickety for me. That's fine. That's fine. It's just the end end of the act. Vote or don't vote. Uh, Storm, Raven. uh, Okay. Storm is number one. Mystique is number two. And uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, I guess Ronald is, yeah, he, he reposted. He messed up on his thing. Yeah, I kind of figured. I, I got it. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. Uh, okay, and then uh, <laughs> I'm not a guy. I'm a ma'am. Uh, Storm, uh, and okay, I got you there. And PDD once told me to vote or die. I didn't vote, and you're still alive. 
Well, that just goes to show you P. Diddy's full shit. Okay, uh, let's see. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. So that's 20. Uh, six. And then uh, 20. Okay, and then we have four. Seven. Oh, you guys can take comments and everything while I'm doing this. I'm doing math. I don't want those comments, though. They're not good. I'll well, take them anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, let's see. I mean, comment wise, kind of, you've got you've got through most of them, so yeah, um, yeah. I I still just uh, I I can't believe some of you some of you people out here put put Rogue as a ten and Kitty as a nine. Just uh, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. They should both be uh, shame, honest. shame, shame. Rogue and Kitty are on the same level. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I had my my personal list, it would probably go Kitty one, Storm two. Uh, probably Emma three, Dazzler four, Mystique five from the list. Good night, Lunswick, dude. Yep. Thanks for showing up. Yep. See ya. Maybe tomorrow. Well, if we're doing random comments, I decided to cut my own hair today. It went how do you expect? Says Vicky. Oh. Did you use a flow bee? Well, I'm glad to see that you're watching us from the hospital. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of a tie. Do we have any more of the votes there? Okay, I'm going to use my... Uh, I'm going to use my owner privileges to break this tie. Yep. Okay. And uh, there we go. At uh, fourth place, tied actually, with uh, we have at 19 points. At fourth place, we have Mystique. And then at uh, third place, we have Emma Frost with the same score. Second with 24 points was Rogue. And Storm comes in first with uh, 28. So she I, won by a whole score. I All right. Not, and that's the way Storm is one of the most popular uh, characters out that I see on a lot of straight white males. Oh, most definitely. So this would be <laughs> the top. And this would be the top 10. Uh, four, seven, nine. It would be Polaris, right? No, was it Storm, one of your favorite characters. Seven, eight, nine, your... ten. Yeah. Uh, yeah Polaris, Polaris and Domino, Dazzler, Domino over. Okay. Uh, Jean Grey, Psylocke, Kitty Pride, Mystique, Emma Frost, Rogue, and Storm. The top ten. Now I'm going to score these out, and I'm going to do a video on these. Um, it's going to be another kind of like a tier list, but. Uh, Hopefully, you guys will find it entertaining. I'm going to post it up on, what do you mean? Uh, on the long dead last. She's in, what? she's in fourth place. But that's what Ahsoka is saying. How can you put her in dead last? She's not. She's in fourth place. I don't know. Well, I think she means, you know, last in terms of the top four. Yeah. So um, she can literally become anyone I want then. So as long as she stays as rogue, then I'll vote for her. <laughs> there you go. Um, but there you go. I, I dig on, uh, I dig on Mystique myself as well, but, um, actually aren't all the X-Men very much Mystique. They're just crappy copies. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> she can, she can be anyone. Yeah. Uh, but there you go. I think, I think that's fun. I like, I like doing these. Um, the one that popped into my head while I, uh, tonight that I'm, I might do, I might, um, what I'm thinking of is, uh, I'm going to come up with the 20 most prominent creature heroes. I think that might actually be fun. We've done women of the X-Men. We've done women of the Justice League. I want to do something a little strange. So I was thinking of the Swamp Thing, Man Thing, Groot, uh, Howard the Duck, um, the, the creature heroes, maybe even monster, you know, monster types. Maybe I'll do something like that next week. Um, I, I'm, I like doing these tier lists. I want to do them on the regular. Um Sunday is a weird day for me, so I'm hoping I can do that. But uh, yeah, the next time you do this, don't have Doug in the background just creeping on us. Pardon? Don't have Doug Ernst the creep. Oh, Doug Ernst <laughs> not looking through the thing. Yeah. By the way, for those of you who uh, don't know, I 
I thought it would be. I, I wanted to see if anybody would notice. You're the only person who noticed. Uh, what's well, what we were going talking on. about last night. We were laughing at it. Like it's like as it says, Marania. I was like, so he's like, yeah, you're kind of close to Ingleton's crush because she's got a camera on next. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know why. I and of didn't. course, was, Tim Lim is censored. I thought it was going to be kind of fun, but then I I left early and never even brought it up. Um. But. Uh, yeah, that's the. I, I don't know if we can make it so our background is. Uh, there's really is no way. Um, yeah, I have to find that picture again and put it in the foreground. But I just thought it was. Uh, I thought I was gonna do well, something with it, and then I just it's forgot. Not about just it. that. It's, it's the fact you have the sexy ladies behind you as your virtual background. Then you see Doug Ernst there, just kind of smiling. Oh, so we should have the decks. The, the sexy ladies is the background. I, I get it. I get it. All righty. Let's uh, let's you do have Doug Ernst in your background is for is for you behind you virtual. <laughs> yeah, he is kind of creeping. He's kind of looking between the uh, between the two here. There we go. That that better. <laughs> sure. Uh, um, I really like what Salux got going on today. Yeah, Man, uh, definitely some good eye candy there. There you go. We got we got some eye candy. But why is it raining on the inside of their house? I don't know if that is the, is the uh, backyard, the patio. I yeah, I don't know if that is the background. I can't tell you there. Well, somebody somebody made it rain. Wolverine. For some reason, it's yeah. not letting me put this picture as a foreground picture. Go figure. Put it as, a, put it as overlay. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't um, minimize this? Hold on. You can just take us off the screen too. Yeah. Or just, you know, kick us over to the left hand side. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That's that's the whole picture. And, and you tell me you don't you don't like these women on here? You voted them down? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> my, my only my only complaint about this picture is that's not Jean Grey or Rachel Summers in the Phoenix outfit. Okay. Well, just because it's she's blonde, not neither. Yeah, of them you're are, right. Are she doesn't have the redhead. Yeah. She doesn't have the red hair. Like you can tell it's so, a you know, so, 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 in other words, you know, Greg Lynn copied the wrong porn star. Right, right. There you go. Okay, let's see what we're getting here. They are hot chick storm made it in the uh, made it rain for the photo shoot, photo tracing, tracing. Yep. Now, now, Katie is creeping, creeping on us. Yeah. By the way, yes, Eric. Um, Say that like it's a bad thing. Eric uh, is saying, I believe you said we could vote in the comments for the characters some of us uh, missed when the video posted. That is true. Um, as soon as we stop, it gets posted on the uh, on as a regular live video. So check out the live area, and you'll find it. And just put in what you uh, what you didn't see. I'm going to score it out, and uh, next week we'll have a video. We'll hey. have a top ten for it. Hey, I I've been scarred by American Pie. You know, when Stipper thinks it's raining, he's actually being peed on. Ah, there you go. That well, is kind of silly. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's no pee coming from like in front of him, just on him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he thinks it's he thinks it's raining. If you want to include Manga and the creature dudes, ladies, uh, then you got uh, a lot more. Yeah, that that actually would be bad a little bit because um, I'm really only trying to find twenty. 20 uh, characters. So um, there you go. But I don't know what next week will be. It, I'm just tossing around some ideas right now. So there you go. No. Jay, anywho, don't make, Jay, don't make me hunt you down. Anywho, guys, uh, thank you very much for hanging out with us. And thanks to uh, Bankman and LK for helping out with the comments. I uh, hope you enjoy the tier list. If you do, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit like and share. So the video, the viewings and all that kind of stuff show off the fact that this is something we should do over and over again. There you go. Also, uh, if you don't mind helping out, the, the link to the Ko-Fi is in the description below. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. And everyone, all the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching. Have a good night.